We're out here fishing in about anywhere from 10 foot up to about 20 foot on some pretty shallow well heads. There it is. Good fish. All right. Oh, look at that. That's a good triple tail. He's right there, dude. That one is a big one. Woo. That's a good fish. He's going for the rig. Back us up. Woo. Man, you got to give it everything you got to get these fish out of these rigs. I'm just going to hold it. It's gonna, my line's going to get in there. There you go. Keep going, Blake. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Just as far away from it as you can. I don't want him to know where it's at. Oh, get up here. He's right on the surface right there. Look at that fish on the surface. That's a good one, bud. Blake, Blake keep him spinning. There we go. Guys, it does not get any better than this when it comes to big triple tail fishing. Look at this monster here. These are prehistoric fish. Let's see if you can get them on the first round here. Woo, boy. Blake, that thing barely fits in that big net, buddy. Look at that. But about 15 years ago, I got introduced to catching triple tail here. And ever since, every single year that I come down here, I target triple tail because I just love catching those gigantic triple tail. That one hit the, that's the electric chicken color. It doesn't seem to matter what color we have on it, man. They're just loving these baits. After fishing a little bit more and uh, skipping to a couple other rigs, I ended up hooking another fish. It's nice fish. I <laughs> picked him right out of there. All right. Oh, big triple tail. You got the net, bud? I'll just keep easing out. Look at that fish in the water. Oh, man. That's what we were after. <laughs> What we're doing today is we're bouncing around these shallow oil uh, well heads here, little gas well heads, and this is what we're picking up. Monster triple tail and bull redfish. You're gonna be able to get them on this pass, Blake. I'm gonna lift them right up to you. There he is. All right. Look at that. That's a good one, dude. That is a good one. Oh, and it, it, it got rid of the soft bait that was in its mouth. Let me get a hand on him here. What I actually caught this on was the uh, Tsunami Tidal Mullet and a Tsunami Jig Head. Hooked that one right in the top of his mouth. They got real good jig heads. That's a half ounce jig head. Not fished with Captain Blake several times, and every time we go out with him, we do very well. There's been plenty of trips where we've caught a lot of really big tuna and lots of big redfish. And uh, I started fishing with him within a couple months of him moving here to Louisiana. He was friends with one of my friends, so we kind of hooked up and really hit it off good. And one thing about Blake is he works really hard to put fish in the boat. There it is, got him. Okay. <laughs> got that one almost all the way at the bottom. Oh, I think it's another big triple tail. Oh, it's a red fish, look at that. It's coming straight up, those reds were running out last time. I could just lift this one in the boat here. There we go. Here in Louisiana, though, you are allowed five redfish per person, and you're allowed one over 27 inches, which in Florida, we're not allowed to keep any over 27 inches, but we were releasing all the redfish anyway. That right there is what we got them on. It's a brand new uh, tidal bait from Tsunami. Right down in the corner of his mouth, and again, getting these as a bycatch on the rigs, and we're going for triple tail, and I'll take them all day. No doubt, man, nice fish. Fuck that thing out. I got him right there in the corner of his mouth where it should have been. There. You want to swim, buddy? There you go. One very unhappy fish to be sitting in a boat. So we went ahead and released that fish even though we could definitely keep it because we were going to release all of the redfish on this trip and uh, we were just going to keep some triple tails for dinner. And you get a hit every time. As soon as I got to the bottom, get away from there. Try to keep this fish off the rig. And it seems a little heavy, but it's exactly what you, look at this fish, oh my gosh. Did you see his head shake on the top? Woo! He's going deep. See, once they can't see the rig anymore, we're in the clear. Here he comes up again on the surface. He's gonna, he didn't make it all the way that time. Water's so dirty. Oh man, it is a good fish. And again, the tackle that I'm using is a 4,000 Tsunami Shield Reel and an eight to 17 Coastal Series Rod. These are big fish, this is all you can do. Just hold on until you get them near the surface and you got a shot at them on their surface so they can't swim, they don't have water to push against it. So like that, they're laid up and they don't have anywhere to go. 
Perfect, dude, perfect. One after another, dude. That was my very next cast from the last fish that we just caught. As soon as we got there, I said, it's on the bottom, it's gonna hit. You got to give it two little bounces, and it was on. Look at, look at this, actually. The, the braid is all frayed up, the leader's all frayed up, and it just, you know, I'll, I'll try, swap you out there, dude. And it just, that hook just, look at that. You take the pressure off, that's what happened. I didn't take that hook out. All I did was just give it a little bit of slack, and that's why you keep your line tight the whole time. You do that, and you catch these all day long out here. Nice fish. All right. And there's another good close-up of that fish there. Little baby eyes, big mouth, big tail. Strong, strong fish.